Hi, and welcome to the SEO podcast, Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. My name is Chris Burris, owner of eWeb Results. My name is Matt Bertram, your email marketing master, HubSpot certified. Boom. Boom. Recently <laughs> HubSpot certified. Uh, Marcus, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is another fun-filled edition of our podcast. As always, we do have a tip from our previous podcast. And I have signed off on this. Yes. Remember your on-page optimization when doing your health check. So okay. okay, so you decided to do a health check, right? If you're going to do a health check <laughs> on, your, on your paid search, then you want to make sure that you look at the on-page work, right? And so there's a couple things on on-page. Well, I would just say that if you're running a PPC campaign, everybody's looking at, am I buying the right kind of traffic? Am I buying the right kind of traffic? Well, where is it going and are you catching it and are you converting it? And I think that that's one of the biggest things that people miss when they're doing uh, PPC campaigns yep. is you need to have a good landing page. So. Subscribe, follow, boom. boom. All right, so please remember we're filming live here from Houston, Texas. Uh, Matt and I are here to guide you through the internet marketing process. Uh, let's hop into a review that we got, uh, and this is on Yelp. Woo! Right. Yep, Woo! yep, yep, yep. Yes, and this review is, of course, five stars. It says the fastest way to keep up on the industry that I know of. They, they discuss articles, news, and updates. They are my cheat sheets. Keep up the great podcast. Love the new format. <laughs> Boom. Uh, we will appreciate. We certainly appreciate that. Um, well, let's talk about Yelp and how they hide your reviews. Uh, okay, well, Why yeah. don't you talk about that, Chris? Because yeah. I, I, I'm pretty offended. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah pretty so offended. it was kind of yeah. Matt's first really Yelp experience. It's like we got a new review, and then he's like, "Wait, there's more reviews. Why are they hidden?" That is the way that Yelp works in some cases. So you will find, um, and there's uh, there's all sorts of like literally. I was having a conversation after you left at the networking event uh -huh. um, about Yelp and how this one particular automotive service <laughs> company. They've got reviews, and they've got reviews that are hidden, and all these good reviews are the ones that are hidden, and all these bad reviews are the ones that are showing. It's messed and up. They, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little dysfunctional. Um, Yelp, uh, Yelp gets a lot of traffic. You should keep Yelp in mind, yes. and if you have any specific questions about uh, whether you should be using Yelp and how much you should be using Yelp, I can give you, or we can give you a very professional opinion about that, a uh, data-driven opinion about that. My data-driven opinion is uh, don't pay for Yelp traffic. It's bad. So, <laughs> that's so my if, opinion if you want of Yelp, to, but we want Yelp reviews if because you, they're important, yes. apparently. So if you want us to expound <laughs> on that, then go ahead, go to the website, eWebResults.com, and then click, uh, well, it used to be Talk to an Expert. It's now going to be We're uh, changing stuff, website people. analysis. Yeah, we're going to have a resources page, guys. We're going to have a resources page, a lot of good stuff on there uh, w in one easy place so you don't have to search around the website. Uh, if you check it out, you'll see we have a new logo. Yes, it's We're going new. international. Yes, yeah, Australia, absolutely. UK, new clients, bring them. All yeah. right. And we've got a partnership announcement yeah. that we'll probably oh, yeah, be yeah, here pretty soon. A lot of good things happening yeah. at you with. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So hey, uh, if you're looking for, so you're here because you like the podcast, um, and you're looking for more information, we do have five online marketing mistakes that can tank your business. You want to avoid those, of course, and you can find those go by going to eWebResults.com slash SEO tip. You will find those. Also, if you go to the homepage, you'll find that big button to get yeah. you there as well. And you'll see us on the page, too. Yeah. You will see us. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, an article today. This is last minute SEO for the holidays. This is by, uh, where'd his name, his name is here at the end of the article, hold on. <laughs> I do have his Twitter handle. So if you're in a position to tweet, what we'd like you to do is go ahead and tweet uh, hashtag SEO podcast. This is podcast number 396. Include at best SEO podcast, at eWeb results and at Beanstalk IM. I like it. Right, so that's like uh, Beanstalk uh, uh, Internet Marketing and the guy's name is Dave Davies. So punch in the face to you, Dave Davies. Uh, if you haven't tuned in before, that's a good thing. Don't worry, we're not gonna hurt him. We're treating as no, kindly. It, it, the punch in the face, guys, yeah. is is like, hey, wake up. Yeah, like, wake hey, up. Hey, wake up, there's something you're not, not doing. Like, yep. look at this a different way. It's just kind of interruption marketing or interruption. And so uh, it's a good thing, we love you. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, if you've listened to this, if you haven't listened to the podcast before, howdy, welcome to the podcast. You're going to have a good time while we're here. We always have a, have a good time. <laughs> uh, and if you've listened to this podcast before, we're, we, we told you that we were going to change the format. We got a Yelp review. We got 10 shikos. Share, boom, like, or boom, follow. Boom, we're boom. moving that piece to the end. 
And but give us Yelp reviews. We like the Yelp reviews. Yes, please. We give want us more Yelp, Yelp reviews. reviews. And we have made they it don't easy. Show them. Just go to <laughs> eWebResults.com slash Yelp, and yes. that'll take you yeah. to that page. Um, Let's we get into it. We do like to say if you're a PHP genius or a WordPress no, guru, we, we're going to skip no, all no, of that. Skip it, you're going to change it, the whole format. It, yeah, like, yeah, I'm confused. We've already hired them, I can't, actually. I, I, <laughs> we don't need them anymore. I can't, well, <laughs> not yet. We'll need more soon, but not right now. So let's go. We do, we do have a question. Oh, yeah. uh, and this question is. We will answer questions. I like answering questions. This is, yeah. this is a, a really good question from from Brian, a longtime listener. Uh, we've done some consulting with him. We've actually done some proposals together, so he's a good guy. Oh. He says, Robin and I had a client meeting recently, and they wanted to know how they could get a knowledge graph similar to State Farms. And he actually said, s uh, sent imagers. You know, when you do a search for, like, State Farm over there on the right of a search result, at least on a uh, on a, a workstation. Google search console? Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> well, not search console, but that's the, but, uh, but the knowledge like, graph. Yeah. Right? And, and he said, instead of the one that they have now, which is kind of standard and based off of, of, of Google My Business, he says, my thought is, number one, we don't control how Google displays the knowledge graph. That's true. And number two, the State Farm Knowledge Panel design and info is at least partially pulled from Wikipedia content, and they are a large national organization, so their knowledge panel design is also based on that fact. He said, what do you think, uh, Brian? I think you're a genius. Um, I tried to like do some research and, and look at some of our existing clients and like what's going on there to see uh, if there was anything to refute what you said. And you're absolutely right. In fact, if you look uh, a little bit of the research that I did, very specifically said that um, the knowledge graph, some of the knowledge graph, when it's coming in, it's a more larger brand, it's actually pulling out of Wikipedia, specifically out of Wikipedia, and you knew that already. So I feel like I don't have much to add to your <laughs> comment and appreciate you listening. So punch in the face to you, Brian. Um, really good stuff. Uh, I've got a little bit of news. Th I thought this was cool. The Alphabet project called Loon delivers internet marketing to an uh, internet service, not marketing, because that would suck for us, uh, to 100,000 Puerto Ricans. Is that the drone? That's the, uh, that's that the, I, no? yeah, it's the balloon, I think. Oh, the balloon. I think okay, it's the yeah, balloon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, the Atlas robot does a backflip. Did you see? Have you seen no, like? I so seen this it. is the <laughs> Atlas robot. It's about the size of us, and it's like they're you know excited that it's walking. It's actually doing some parkour stuff, like hopping from one box mm. to the next. Interesting. And then on the last box, it spins and does a backflip. Cool. Um, and then of that. course the outtakes are pretty good when it's falling over on its face. That's kind of fun too. And then uh, Waymo uh, is testing self-driving cars in in Arizona. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so cool. I, I actually have a, a bit of news. Okay. okay. You've got news. Uh, back in, I don't know, August, September, Google has changed their uh, Google AdWords, uh, their enhanced CPC. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. Yeah. Uh, their enhanced CPC, uh, it used to cap it at 30%. Right. And now it'll just go all the way up to your daily bid. So, so everybody that has enhanced CPC, it'll just bid up the clicks. Uh, I actually went back to Google, fought, did get some money back. For one uh, of our clients, yeah. For one of our clients, but just know out there, you uh, Google AdWordsers, people yeah. that uh, enhance CPC will go all the way up to your daily budget. So, so be careful because you could uh, inflate the market pretty substantially. So, yeah, just exactly. I, I think that's a really important piece. And of here's news. another thing, <laughs> and this is just uh, actually a bug, and I don't know if you reported it, and, and you correct me if I'm wrong because I heard this from you um, on the new AdWords platform. One of our clients was seeing some ad extensions that weren't working properly. And you were looking at the older platform, still used to it, right? And you weren't seeing them. And when you went over there, sure enough, they were there, and but they weren't on there. Yeah, there's 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 some glitches. I mean, I, I, I probably need to do a, a review out there of right. the, the new AdWords. Uh, there is some helpful things, but again, for people that have been doing a long time, the old. Yeah, yeah, you get used to where you things get, are. Yeah, it yeah, it, it yeah, makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. All right, so that is the potatoes of our podcast. It's time to get into the to, to the meat of the podcast. And this, again, is last-minute SEO for the holidays. N by the way, this article is from last year, right? So it wasn't written recently. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, don't worry. Both Matt and I have reviewed it, and the information is still valid. So uh, we're going to jump right into this. Again, this is from Dave Davies, uh, punch in the face to you. So it's last-minute SEO for the holidays. So it's the middle of November, right? You, sh you really should have your kind Black of SEO. Black Friday. This is just around the corner. Like next week, we couldn't like literally as a team, we're like, when's ha really Thanksgiving is next week? No, it's the week. No, it's next week. Uh, literally around the corner, less than a week away. 
so this is not really the best time to be planning for your 2017 kind of marketing strategies, but if you're in a pinch, yeah, it, that's what this is for. Um, you you clearly, from an SEO perspective, need to focus on quick wins. It's always time to be planning yeah, on your was, SEO strategy yeah. and, and your marketing strategy. New sales are great sales. That's why the Christmas season starts yep. right after Halloween. <laughs> so, so you don't want to be working. You don't. You don't need to like put the gas on any strategies that are going to take a long time. But you need to put the gas on the strategies that we're going to talk about today, right? Yeah, if there's anything worth pouring gas on, absolutely. And it, it's always fun to pour gas on stuff. I think, like if it's uh, catching yeah, on fire. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so in that vein, you know, he makes the point. Dave makes the point. No big linking, backlinking strategy should really be something that you're putting the gas on. Um, you, you should do that. If you, you should have gas on that all the time, but anyway. Um, he says ranking for local terms and long tail phrases is really the yeah, what you're going to yeah. be able to focus, what you're going to be able to accomplish in this short period of time. You like when I said riches in the niche. There's riches in the niches. niches. <laughs> I feel like you need to pour a little drink out when you say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll do. <laughs> uh, all right, so he's got five points. The first point is focus on Google My Business. All right, this is last minute SEO tips for the holiday. Um, remember, it's essential to create, verify, and optimize your Google My Business. It's abso absolutely critical for local SEO. So it's one of our, like if you talk about the core packages that we offer our customers here, the first one we call the absolute foundation, and that's our analytics package, right? Yeah, I call it the basics. You call it the, the foundation? foundation? The basics. You're, you're like, the the this is the foundation, the basics. Wait, Chris is talking to me about the foundation. No, no, it's the basics. No, 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 no. foundation. <laughs> no, 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 you, you mean the basics? We need like a Matt Chris decoder <laughs> ring. <Yeah. laughs> so, so, so that's one, right? The analytics is the basis and basics, and then or the foundation, and then the next is is actually local SEO, yeah. right? So yeah. that's the major um, the major listings: Google My Business. Uh, Yelp, uh, make sure you got LinkedIn, Facebook, all of those particular profiles. And then there's lots of directories that are uh, valid, relevant, and useful. So they want to make sure that you got those re there. So critical. Yeah, uh, well, we, were, we were kind of explaining to a client that, that really uh, wasn't in the space. And it was kind of use the analogy of a car and like filling up your tires and, and oh, making yeah, yeah. sure you're you're competing uh, yeah. with, with everyone else, uh, you know, so. You can put the engine together, you can have <laughs> all of these things, and if the tires are flat, you're really probably not gonna win the race. Unless everybody else's tires are flat. Yeah. And yeah. then if you're in an industry that no one's really tech savvy, you can really uh, win. Then you just need to <laughs> just, you just run circles around them. You, the yeah. difference between you and extreme success is just a little bit of air, this actually. Is, man, I, I like that. <laughs> Just a little bit of air. We have lots of hot air here. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> there are important things about your le lo local SEO. Uh, here are the core benefits. It reinforces Google that you are a company. You've got to have a verified listing, and it enforces that you're a legitimate entity uh, that actually exists, right? So, uh, so that's important. It also gives you the ability to show up in the knowledge graph. So we were just interesting. The question was about a more um, kind of in-depth knowledge graph. But if somebody Googles your business and you don't have a knowledge graph, it's because you don't have a Google My Business page. And so you want to make sure you have that Google My Business page. Well, you know, just this Wednesday yeah. we were talking about kind of brand lists, right? Right. And, right. and, and really Google favors brands and you really want to do everything with social signals and SEO to, to create that brand list because yep. Google's going to going to favor that so yeah it's very important absolutely mm -hmm. lots of value kind of the summary of we're going to hint around this a little bit lots of value in traditional marketing that you might do or that a major brand might do a lot of value for your seo when you're doing that yep all right number two again this is last minute seo for the holidays holidays optimize titles and descriptions so this feels like mm, almost like a long-term SEO strategy, although if you think about it, it's not that hard to, it's like a one, one and, well, we never do one and done, but it's a, it's a one, see improvement, improve, see more improvement kind of situation, so. Well, I mean, with anchor, anchor text and, and things of that nature, I mean, right. like the semantic, Google semantic kind of, uh, whatever that's called, the little tool. Right, right. Um, you, can, you can like get words that, are not synonyms, but very similar in the same category of the word that you're looking for, and Google's really starting to favor that. So your anchor text is really important, and and that's uh, really really yeah. in the content. If you yeah. if you talk about you know the titles and the descriptions, there's titles two two important. reasons. We've always said on this podcast that your first opportunity for SIVO, search engine visitor optimization, Boom. occurs on the SERP on the search engine result page. 
and really the title is one of the things that shows up when you show up in a search result and then the next is the description so there's two facts you know uh, you want to make sure you got your kind of key target keyword in your title yes. and then your description yes that's yes. important i like that and then your description needs to be really um engaging right click through rate yeah. and he gave a yeah, because the more click through rate you get the better google sees rank brain right. loves it and all this dynamic stuff is happening and it's good for you he gives this great example of say say your parent looking for the latest and greatest video game for your teenager, not for you. Just want to make that clear. Or You're for you. Or, or, okay, for, or you for you. Gamers out there, we love you. Yes. We still game sometimes yes. when we have time. All right. And and he gives the example of a title <laughs> that says gamer rated top ten video games for Christmas. And then the description is Gamer Empire enlists top video game enthusiasts to rate and rank this year's top video games to make your Christmas gift buying easier. So that's one example he gives really about the gift and, and the top ten, right? Yeah. The next is best video games, Last Guardian, Titanfall, Pokemon Woo! Sun, like, Pokemon and then. Pokemon Go is the future. Yep. Pokemon Go is the future. It is, yeah. Like the, the just the reality mix of, yeah. like it's the future. Yep. I was at South by Southwest this awesome. And then the description for that one is best video games for Christmas, including Last Guardian, Titanfall, Pokemon, and list okay. all the games that you might be searching for. So if you're a parent and you don't know the games, it's probably better to be the top 10 right where you're where, where you're listing them and i would even subscribe uh, or argue that the description for the other one if you're listing the games then you really need to be talking about we have your favorite game for less here yeah, or that's a immediate different delivery so really it's totally different strategy because yeah. i looked at both of them i was like man i like both of them yeah like yeah. i really did i was like i like both of these strategies and they're and they're good for the different target and in this yeah. case when you're a parent who's confused um hey here's a list of the top 10 <laughs> games probably if you buy one of them for your kids they will be happy so uh, optimize titles and descriptions you can get some pretty quick gains there uh, with a, a little bit of brain power and not too much time uh, so number three this is last minute SEO tips for the holidays uh, reverse keyword focus so I love this example right so he said uh, he gave the example of Babe Ruth when Babe Ruth stepped up to the plate was he was his goal to home knock it out of the park? Yes, every time. It feels every like that. Every time, it feels home like run. That. It feels like yeah. that, right? And and that might be an SEO strategy where you're like, I want to play for video games, right? You Boom. might have that in your head. <laughs> How likely is that going to happen between here and uh, next week? <laughs> we should go back to the Astros World Series and talk about some buttons. Oh, that would be, action. yeah, there's some yeah. other things yeah. happening. So the, his point was when Babe set up to the, stepped up to the plate, he wasn't trying to hit a homer he's really good at it he was just trying to make a base hit right so mm, and then no. that led often to the home run i disagree you, you i think he was trying I'm to sorry. swing for the fences every time that's my personal thing i have to share this with you if you disagree with the analogy the whole podcast is going to fall okay so he always went for a base so hit he always <laughs> went for a base hit guys that, that's what that's, <laughs> I'm glad you're a believer. <laughs> I do. Because, you because convinced when, me. Because <laughs> when it comes to keyword focus, you should probably be focusing in the short term on the lower hanging fruit with less competition. Like home um, run. Right? Home run. <laughs> <laughs> I would hit the home run. So go for the longer <laughs> phrases. Like he says, don't go for shoes. Go for like Echo Shoes Portland or uh, maybe Shoes Portland. because Orange Shoes Portland. Right. Or Orange Shoes Portland. Orange or shoes, Orange shoes. Echo Shoes Portland. I like that. Right? So you could rank for that pretty so rapidly. That's a, that's a yeah. base hit, right? Yeah. So you're getting on base. Yeah. There's, you know, there's not as much search volume, but it also moves you in the direction of getting that home run. Uh -huh. So I thought that was a really good point. Even if you don't like his analogy of Babe Ruth, maybe we need to come up with another one. Number four. All right. The title of number four, this is last minute SEO tips for the holiday, is hijack. So I, I want you to ruminate on hijack for a little bit. Because <laughs> we were actually kind of talking about being hijacked just not too long ago. And what he's saying is, if you can't beat them, join them, right? So he's talking about Shoes Portland. And what he showed is that the number one position, at least at that time for Shoes Portland, was a Yelp listing. And so probably the phrase, if you can't beat them, join them, makes sense now. If you, s if you do a search for the phrase that you want to place well for, and the top three listings are some sort of directories, you probably should make sure you're in those directories. Yeah, right? yeah, no, I mean, Google owns the world. Yep. And Facebook. And yep. Both. Yeah, and then they both do. And then in this particular case, if the top three are some uh, directories, then those directories 
own that phrase. Yeah. Right. But 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 so what's 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 interesting to me is like mm -hmm. Search Console, Google My Business, like analytics. Basically, that's like what you need to set up minimally, right? When right. you're like launching a website. Right. And that's for one search engine. Would you call engine. that basics or I, foundation? Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> both. Right. But here's the deal: is that is like one search engine. Right. But no, I kind of view it as like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like your mind is like, like, I'm like <laughs> that's the internet that right is there. The yeah. internet. <laughs> Yeah, we, and we tend to see like efforts that, that work well on Google follow on, on the other algorithms pretty quickly. He says, uh, Yelp's algorithms aren't as sophisticated as Google's and don't ex uh, include aspects like links, which you can't do long term. He's saying you can optimize your li Yelp listing a lot faster. Um, and if you can get on Yelp listing, make sure you claim your listing. You want to be in the top 10. Um, and it's just a, a situation where if you can't beat them, join them. So yeah, I like it. Web 2.0. Yeah. Woo -woo. All right, so number five, and this is the final one. We do have uh, some closing notes. And this is, again, last minute SEO for the holidays. Dave Davies comes in the face to you. His Twitter handle is Beanstock IM. I like uh, it. And his company, I think it's BeanstockIM.com or something along those lines. If you Google it, you will find him. Uh, this one is content optimization. And it, he makes the point, it probably goes without saying, if you're working to, to place well for any of these phrases and you've decided, you know, good strategy, let's go for the longer tail free uh, phrases so that we can get there quicker uh, between now and next yeah. week <laughs> or now and the week after that. Um, it involves content optimization. So what you're doing on your content is going to make, make a big sense, make a big, uh, a, a big difference. Uh, he says going over those pages and to make sure they have properly optimized to the target keywords. Um, this is a lot easier, at least on the platforms that we've been touching uh, in WordPress when you're using uh, like an SEO Yoast plugin. Plug um, and you also want to focus on phrases that rank low on the first page or high on the second page because those are, those, are those are the phrases and pages that you're going to get the, you're going to have the most opportunity to be able to bump up into that first position, which really, or top three positions, which really makes a big difference. Or a solid backlink strategy. That also works. <laughs> it is harder to implement. Again, we don't support the article. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> a good backlink strategy is good, and 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 actually, hopefully, you've implemented the good backlink strategy about three years ago, three months ago, or years, even better. Um, and then as you move into 2018, yeah. Well, on page optimizations. 50, step one. 50 percent or more of the game. And it's step know? one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you get yeah. you get most of the gains yeah. from the thing that you have the most control over, yes, the quickest that true. has the less the, the, yeah. you know mm -hmm. insanity. Yeah. Um, and then the focus needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> did I just say insanity? <laughs> I like it. I did. Backlinks <laughs> insanity. So the focus needs to be uh, on the on-site strategy right away. And then he says the road to 2018. Uh, really, uh, if we summarize it, I think it's better we summarize it. Uh, don't do the band-aid strategies that we just. Uh, outlined those are good and you can get some quick wins make sure you got the right backlink strategy make sure that um, uh, you're really looking at your whole entire SEO um, process holistically right what we say is don't throw money against the wall and see if it sticks um, and if you do only three hundred dollars or a hundred clicks <laughs> yeah yeah so you need to spend if, 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 if you're gonna throw spaghetti against the wall <laughs> like limit the amount of it so it's statistically significant. Get, yeah, because yeah. yeah, you can make some really <laughs> bad decisions <laughs> if you're not uh, waiting for watch it, watch your for yeah. statistical yeah. significance. Um, all right, so that's 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 yeah. our podcast. Yeah. Boom, ping, boom, pow. This is good. Yes. Um, what I'd like to say, if you like this podcast, we'll ask you to ask you to tell three people. We promise that we move this to the end. Um, there's, we'd love for you to leave us a review on uh, Yelp. On Yelp. The way right. on Yelp, Yelp specifically. Yelp, 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 Yelp. And we've made it easy to, for you to get to Yelp by going to ewebresults.com slash Yelp. <laughs> surprise. Not surprise, Yelp. Yeah, just want to I mean, make sure. Like, we just want to make sure there's like the predictive analytics that Justin uses. Yep. Yeah. We also <laughs> would like uh, if you would shyco us. Uh, yes. Shyco is a. A share, a like, and a follow. Those sh shycos really help us. We appreciate them. Yes. And it's kind of the way you show that you appreciate us. So. Uh, thank you uh, for those who have shycoed us. Yes. Or we're going to set up a page where you can backlink to us and we'll show you and maybe we share some backlinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, backlinking yeah. yeah. would be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, in order to shyco us, there's a couple places you just need to do that on our 
uh, profiles on these platforms. That would be like Facebook.com slash eWeb results. Twitter.com slash eWeb results. YouTube.com slash eWeb results. Not working right now. We're working on fixing that one. Um, what? Inst <laughs> Instagram. What? <laughs> Insta what? <laughs> Instagram.com slash eWeb results. And then uh, LinkedIn.com slash company slash eWeb results. All of those will take you to our profile, except for the YouTube for now. Or um, the Facebook. They could go to Best SEO Podcast. That's true. Oh, that yeah. also works. Yeah, yeah. that also the works. Other one gets Just folded, so yeah. you know, because we are the best yes. SEO podcast. Yes, uh, we appreciate. And we are the you know world champions. Yes, yeah. Houston. Houston. Uh, all right. So if you're looking to grow your business with the largest, simplest marketing tool on the planet, the internet. The internet. Uh, we can help you do that. We can help you increase your revenue in your business. Give us a call, 713-592-6724. Uh, we do have a free website analysis. What we've done is we've made the little adjustment. It's not as comprehensive as it used to be before, but it is still free. So go to our website and click the free website analysis, which will be up maybe by the time that this goes. We are doing it all. Yep. And I'm telling you that our deep dives are getting excellent reviews. People yep. are loving it. People are converting to clients. We are helping people. Quite a bit. So if you up need front, a basically, yeah, like if you need a help. yeah, if you need a second look, uh, give us a call. We'll look at everything. It's four ninety nine. You can apply that to our monthly services. Uh, we would love to work with you. We'd love to hear from you. Please give us a call. Excellent, Marcel. Geez, I'm just <laughs> checking. <laughs> so, so we've got Manny, Marcus, and Marcel. It's the M's have tuned in today. It is <laughs> uh, M cubed. It's, it's like six thirty. It's not the three thirty time, guys. We're gonna work on it. We're starting to say just Friday because uh, Friday ish. You know, Friday ish. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're sorry about all the confusion, but appreciate. And and so if you we do have a referral program. So the way this works is remember we do all aspects of internet marketing. Every now and then somebody's like, oh I didn't know you do PPC. Yes we do PPC. I didn't know you do websites. Yes you do websites. I didn't know that you did social media. Yes you do social media. I didn't know that you did paid on social media or pay pay per click. Yeah. So we do we do it all. We do it all. If you send a client to us and they pay their bill, we pay you. That works pretty simply. Um, and that wraps it up. Just remember, we're filmed live here at 5999 West 34th Street, Suite 106, Houston, Texas, 77092. Uh, if you would Here like you video, audio, <laughs> or a transcript of the podcast, uh, you can get that at our website, eWebResults.com. You know, we've been the, the most popular internet marketing podcast uh, s for a long time. For a very long, I can't even remember when, but it's like eight years. Is it eight That's or nine? That's fantastic. Eight Chris, or nine what years. You've been able to do. Yeah, with uh, a ton of five star reviews. Um, it's interesting. We kind of debate the format of the show based on some of the negative ones, and you know, it's a, it's an interesting debate. Maybe we, we should like have that debate on a on a on a um, on a and video it and yeah, that would be YouTube, interesting. Yeah, uh, on Facebook <laughs> or YouTube. Uh, but we are the most popular internet marketing podcast because of you guys uh, and gals out there. So thank you so much for. Uh, being loyal fans, uh, we'd love you to engage with us. Remember, you can go to eWebResults.com slash SEO tips uh, and, and give us your email and we'll get you uh, the five tips that could be tanking your business so that you avoid those. And uh, we really appreciate you. Until the next podcast, which will actually be right before Thanksgiving. Okay. Right? We're going to squeeze All right. that one All in. All right. So Woo. it's just around the corner. Um, my name is Chris Burris. My name is Bob Berkson. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>